Adam and dad went to school with me on Monday, straight to Mrs. Yates' office and told her everything about the text. I had them all on my WhatsApp about Mr. Smith and I explained the bullying in more details. Their conversation was long and after I gave all the information I could, I was asked to leave to class while they talked and only knew the result when I came back home. My dads gave Mrs. Yates two choices. Number one, she removes Mr. Smith from teaching and do a seminar with the teachers about bullying and LGBT causes that my dads are willing to pay for or they remove me from the school, sue the school and go to the local newspaper with the story. She chose the first option but asked for a month to find another teacher. Meanwhile, she will monitor my class closely and Mr. Smith won't be allowed to penalize my grades like some of you guys feared. Apparently, Adam has a bit more experience dealing with this than I knew, but he also explained to me about privilege and that talking works so well this time because this is a private school that worries about money and reputation and we have enough money to fight, pay for a lawyer, and sue. He told me that many of the children from public schools, like his childhood, have to suffer in silence because they don't have the support that we have this time. So altogether, Duncan will be my classmate, but at least Mr. Smith won't bully any more of us. He was the real jerk in this situation. With that being said, was I the jerk for weaponizing my femininity?